bro it's so much going on in the world man that it's hard to even comprehend or even fathom what's going on man so what we do hey in the evening morning night or whatever we have free time bro we play video games cuz and you know that's what i do that's what i do to kind of get my mind some peace you know you know get my mind some closure on a lot of things man because we got a lot going on everybody has a lot going on stuff is getting higher food is getting higher people are not paying enough man but what can you do what can you do but just keep your head high and just keep grinding because so that's what we do that's that's what we do on the game regardless if i hey if i don't get a single follower in a year it don't matter i'm still here bringing y'all something to see something to watch man something to honor and be motivated by man because if i can do it hell anybody can do it you know man so man i appreciate it man i appreciate y'all keeping me motivated man as i will do y'all the same way if i had the opportunity if you have pages if you have youtube pages instagram pages man let me know down in the comments man if you have one i'll surely follow you back man oh matter of fact i'll follow you you know what i'm saying you know just let me know exactly what it is man and we'll get with it man man um before we get started, man, on Hogwarts Legacy, this is a part what, four or five, something like that. Man, don't forget to like and subscribe to the page, man. Please hit that thumbs up button, man. Let me know that you can, man. That'll put me in the algorithm, man, so people can pay attention to your boy, man. Uh, and to keep me uplifted and keep me motivated, man. I greatly appreciate it, man. Keep hitting that like button. Keep hitting that subscribe button. Keep hitting that notification bell so you know whenever I release this content on y'all, man. I had to get back to all the other stuff that I was doing too, man. I was doing reviews. I was doing all kind of stuff. We will get there. Trust me. We will get there. We'll get back to that, man. As soon as I possibly get a free moment and a break, man. Because my life has been hectic, man. But we're going to continue on, man. This is what, part four, five, six, one of them parts, man. But, man, I appreciate y'all stopping through, man. We're going to get to it. We're going to get busy. Hogwarts Legacy. You with it. I'm with it. If you ready, I'm ready. Let's get to it, man. Keep moving and grooving, man. Baking and shaking. Yes, his name is Blacksmith Maximus. You know what I'm saying? I think we left off when we got the disarming spells. I think that's what we needed. It looks like we're gonna be fighting us some wizards or something, some some somebody that has some type of weapon. We're gonna get ready to uh to square up with them. Feel it, feel it in me bones. So we left the ghost guy. I forgot his name. But we left him over here. Waiting for us to get this spell, man. So I don't got some more potions though. I ain't get that many potions. I mean, I last on this one right here, man. Unless I can craft something. Is it possible to craft or do I have to go on them, on them workbenches? I didn't even much do any workbench stuff. I haven't did anything. Here I am, as good as my word. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Just like a Gryffindor to brave the forbidden forest in pursuit of adventure. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. 
Shall we? Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Hmm. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Is that Latin? Or Greek? Hmm. I can go, now, but keep going. I can go invisible. Gotta watch from the spider. That's how spider nest or something. Whatever the hell I saw, I saw something. He travel way up in here like a dummy. What the hell is that? Like monitors or something. The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. what it was that sour something oddly solemn about this place such regal creatures stags described intramuros look at that it's cold-blooded Aren't you a little far from home? Oh. Red Rock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. Oh, ah, really, it is. Believe. Is that the best you can do? No. You're so very weak. Someone. It's oh, That's embarrassing, isn't it? Loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jack Dora's led me. Dang. I'm getting better and better. You know what I'm saying? Getting better and better.
Gotta get, gotta get back in the swing of things, man. I need to play more often. Way more often than I'm playing. This place is. Like all day type shit, you know. These rooms must have something to do with opening this door. Revelio. I can shoot the symbol, but it doesn't stay lit for long. I need to light all three before they time out on me. There we go. Lit all three. Impressive. That must be where all this leads. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. I wonder if any of my spells will help me through this. Incendio! Yep, Incendio did. Incendio! Lucido! Shit, he became a bomb real quick, didn't he? Come back that way, probably. Maybe. Oh, here we go. Incendio. Stupid. Another puzzle. But if Jackdaw could solve this, so can I. Maybe. Breeze. Oh, shit, so he ducked on his own. There's something powerful in these shits. <laughs> I 
It's a good thing Jackdaw didn't fall down there. That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Good question, sir. That's like a battleground right there. Is. The bridge, it's almost complete. So what am I missing? Spiders. These can't be what they're having with the jack. Stupid ass spiders. Nobody needs why exactly? Imagine how these spiders have multiplied since Jack came this way. Ooh. 
made it through the first. I told you it was a battleground. I freaking told you it was a battleground. Nobody believes you, boy, no more, man. It's been nice if you would have believed me. An untouched chest. Tarotor wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. I need to look around for the sun. See knights in there. <sighs> I must be getting closer to Jackdaw's remains and those pages. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. Thank you for keeping these pages safe all these years. Here it is, the map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room? Maybe, and I'm gonna fight some shit. There you go, stupid one. Magic, I see. What? That's unnerving. What's happening? Oh, is that my ability? In Gringotts and the restricted section. Revelio. Where am I? Oh no! 
The room is starting to flood. How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? It's your magic, dude. It's ancient magic, bro. I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What is this place? Fight now. Can it be? It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. Connection Ancient Magic has a lock. Has unlocked talents plus one. You receive one talent point each time you increase your wizarding level. You have new talent points to spend in the talents menu. Ooh, talents! Hell yeah. Oh, man. Return here to see what new powerful talents await you. Oh, man. Your spell casting. Blood curse. Spell knowledge. New spell set has added. It's added. To unlock the spell set. Oh, so you can create spell sets. Sweet. I was going to ancient magic meter. Ancient magic throw catches and throws disarms. me to sprint
invulnerable and afflicts. Ah. Talent points available. Sweet. Oh, I gotta get that one. Allows me to run. I need that. I hope there's a quick I hope there's a quicker way to get back. I'm hoping there is. It wouldn't be fair if it wasn't. I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? Off on another adventure, are we? I can come back to the map chamber at any time. I'm back at Hogwarts. I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with a book. Rebellion. charm useful for pushing objects or adversaries away complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom we'll do
flying class. Ooh, flying class. Everybody has their brooms out here. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now. Let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up. Thank you. Now, your turn. Up. Up. Up, you stupid ratty school broom. Up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Let's see what's up with the brism. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned in one piece. <laughs> this is brilliant. <laughs> this will take some getting used to. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Hello! Yes, sir. Nice day for a flight! Ah, brilliant! Man, I wish I had a broom instead of a doggone car. Hell. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. Get better and better, baby. Just like butter, baby. Whoa. Our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <gasps> I'm gonna get my dog on broom. My son, he been playing way ahead of me. Like all he got to do is, I mean, like all he got is time to play. He started way after me. I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton, 
Am I right in suspecting that a Gryffindor like you might be interested in a high-flying adventure? <laughs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. And I love the theme music. Nice the theme music goes hard. Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part Hippogriff? No. There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. Dismount here. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. I got a cape, you know what I'm saying? Sorry about that business with Kagawa. But you have to admit, those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom, then? If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Yes, sir. Please do, sir. Steve. Now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and save for a little bit and then we're going to get back into it. I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. Hmm, not bad at all. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. 
I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. A lot of messages. Yup. Oh yeah. Let's dance with me. So we're going now. We're going now. We're going. 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 Cause we learned a lot today, man. First keeper trial. What the hell is that? Hmm. So let's go there then. What do we gotta do? Talents. Ooh. Let's use one. Take that in. Might as well. Might as well. Our room of requirement. Ah, I should have did one of these. Mm, I get to it. I will surely get to it. I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Good day to you. I require assistance with the delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. If you'd like to earn a few coins. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies away from prying eyes and distractions. Ooh, constant unlocking quests. What else we got? See here. I, w I wish there was an easier way to get to the. Hmm. So let's go there. I'll come back and learn it. But I'll go this way. This, but this is high. Jeez, Louise. I gotta learn how to crap. I gotta learn how to do a lot of things. Aren't they brilliant? Revelio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. We will eventually. Eventually. Seven floors, jeez. Seven. <laughs> Hello there. Perhaps you can help me. Do you think anyone has found a long walk? Golly.
Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. Look rather stunning, I would say. What is this place? This is the Womb of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? Hmm. He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Let's see what we got. Ready? Say it. Let's get it. There we go. Evanesco. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those... So I can go up, right. Okay, that's cool. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is that? Goodness, my old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. <gasps> Dear me, can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's classy. Revelio. Accio. Somebody's sipping some of that scissor. I smell scissorp. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! 
No, not... Uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin! The latrine. Better find it. Better find it in the room, though. I need a rap cheeky thing. Hmm. <laughs> How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? What was that? Was that a golden snitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> no, 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 no. Rebellion. Akio. Flying books and everything. How self can find us in here? What is that? Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are! Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Good old Deke. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The room of requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. It's tight, bro. It's tight. You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. That's tight. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. 
It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. Whoa, that's what I needed Always before. understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You have locked the you you have unlocked the desk of description. Use it to reveal magical properties of any unidentified gear that you collected. I got just a piece too. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Sweet. This will be more useful when I have something to identify. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Let's get to it. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. One of these small botanical potion station, small eclectic potion station, small gothic, small scientific potion station. Ooh, I want the scientific one. Whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hoxwood or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. C 
Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. Thank you for letting me know. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke. He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have and seems to know it's every nook, cranny and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready, but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Sweet. Sorry about that cough. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. How many do I need? Ah, okay. items here in the room or you can gather it outside the Hogwarts grounds. What do I have to do next? Revelio. See where we can go next. So what we got next? What is next? Interior decorating. Shadow and undercraft require. Confrigo. Confringo. change around some stuff see what my gear looking like no can't change that neither
So, where are we going? Over here. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. Let's see where we're going then. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. So many secret locations, it's crazy. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt, he named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time, with my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone, but he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. They don't want to get caught now. I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the blasting curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. It sounds like a dangerous spell. You sound like Ominous. He frowns upon using forbidden spells. Although he did enjoy learning this one. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic, but you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Yes, sir. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Let's see what we got. Confringo. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the target. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, 
but I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendio. Confringo! Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. That's it! I think I've got it. Well done. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key that... A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does this allow you to wield this magic too? I... Uh, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. Thank you, Sebastian. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Cool. Appreciate it. Sebastian, bro? Brody? Now, hopefully you don't double cross me and stab your boy in the back. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know, people tend to stab people in the back real hard with a big old knife. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there? I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Trust me, Ominous. 
I won't say a word. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Ooh. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Ooh. My look angry, isn't he? He's a little perturbed, isn't he? Jeez. No spit on his biscuits. Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. Or as well be surrounded. Yeah, man. Got mad for Who told you about this? Sebastian is gonna get an earful from me. Jeez, who, who, who spit on your boogers? Oi, can you help me? Maybe later. I was hoping to see you. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. Nearly Headless Nick asked me to get some rotten roast beef from the kitchens. Rotten roast beef? Yes, I thought it was odd too. But then, we took the roast beef to Sir Podmore of the Headless Hunt, and- You met the Headless Hunt? <laughs> that must have been interesting, to say yes. that. Yes. And then I had to find Richard Jackdaw's head in the pumpkins, so that he'd tell me about how he died. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. The room is called the Map Chamber, by the way. And the portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them. And Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. Safe travels, my young friends. To think. It was beneath us all this time. PlayStation 5 looks so good, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. This is crazy. Look how the floors and stuff move. It's just wild.
This looks promising. This game is beautiful, man. A map. There's Hogsmeade. And over here, the Forbidden Forest. And, of course, Hogwarts. It's magnificent. If only you were here to see this. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability, the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key, and of trials you'd created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the Keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago, in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts Everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. It looks familiar. <laughs> Perhaps your young friend is more well-traveled than you might think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. You said that you know that tower. What can you tell me about it? Not much, I'm afraid. I've passed it dozens of times. It's north of Hogsmeade. My recollection is that it seems abandoned. 
Clearly, however, the tower conceals more than meets the eye. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful, and do not tell anyone where you're going. Where can I find focus potions? Um, Try to see if I can find my broom too. That'd be nice. Any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Rebellion. I'm certainly grateful to be part of a I don't want to be associated with any squibs. Squibs are just as vile as mudbloods, in my opinion. new face wonderful hello mr weeks is it alby weeks at your service welcome to spin witches apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted I had to travel as far as london to meet with my supplier and i've only just returned thankfully with inventory i presume you're in the market for a new broom got a few rare u weavers available ember dash silver arrows Wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. 
U weavers are rare because some fear fly in them, likely to do with the U1's darker reputation. Then you have the ember dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? Let's see, I don't know which one to choose. Let me do any mini mighty mo. Any mini mighty mo. Catch the tiger by his toe. If he holler, let him go. Any mini mighty mo. You'll be thrilled with that broom. I promise you. Got me a broom. Sweet. Nice doing business with you. Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. We'll do. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. <sighs> I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm. Let's find us a good, decent stopping point. Ah! Hear this, peoples. Thank you. 
So, this is where we're going to take a pause for the cause at. I didn't want to get too far tonight, man. I'm sitting on about like, man, man, like an hour and a half of content, man, for this one. I still got to upload another episode, man, but we're going to stop right here, man. Hey, like and comment for me. Subscribe to the page, man. I greatly appreciate it, man. I do appreciate y'all stopping through, man. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the page, man. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Let me know that you care, man. And not only that, man, she'll be notified whenever I drop this content on y'all, man. I greatly appreciate y'all stopping through, man. One more episode or one more part in the books, and we finna keep going and going and going, man. I appreciate y'all. I'll get with y'all later on, man. Peace.